Hello, my name is Douglas Wong from Solace. This video will walk you through how to set up and configure the two Kafka connectors with Puzzle Plus Event Broker. We can start with looking at the GitHub repo, which are the two locations that has put in the information for you. So this is the sync, sorry, this is the source connector, as you see all the pages, and then also this is the sync connector. Uh, I will walk you through how to set up those and also how do you talk to a event broker from us as well. Let's start by checking the prerequisite list. Obviously you have to have your Kafka version running and by, by, by that you could be using any standalone or cluster that you want. In the uh, quick start itself, they talked about how to set up each of them from Apache tutorial. So I encourage you to check that out. So um, to check out, I already have my Kafka version running here, uh, as you can see in also the, uh, the Zookeeper instances, so that's all good. And I can also show you how I can actually check out my two producer and consumer from the Kafka perspective so that we can actually look at how they're gonna set up messages. So let's set up the consumer uh, producer. I'll put it here. So let's check, I am right now in the Kafka folder, which is perfect. So the topic that I'm trying to uh, send and receive messages is called test, okay? And then over here, I would put in my consumer so that I can see the messages coming in and out. And again, I have to make sure that I'm under the Kafka folder, which is perfect. So this is reading that uh, information that we were just talking about on the test topic. So just leave it, give it a quick try. Okay, perfect. You just saw that just uh, appearing there. Perfect. So we have a Kafka instant uh, ready to go. So basically the next two steps are really just making sure that our connectors are being downloaded and then we can extract to a proper location uh, of your choice. Uh, let's go back to the uh, quick start guy. But I'm primarily just looking for uh, downloading the tar or the zip that you can un uh, unzip and and uh, extract it in onto your computer. For the purpose, I'm using a Mac, so I have put all this information under my download folder, which I can show it here. It doesn't really matter where you put them, to be honest, but then just the, the fact that you extract uh, to a connector folder of your choice. So for the purpose of this demo, I've already extract and put in a location of my choice where it's under here. So let me show you. So I have my uh, connector folder created here and I've extract the two connector information and put it under here. As you can see, the Kafka sync and also the Kafka source. So we can do each of them uh, at a time. So basically these are all the prerequisites that you need to do. And obviously, by the way, you have to have a uh, Java version already set up to install the, the Kafka. And the, the version that we recommend you to do is version eight. So the next step, uh, since we have already uh, downloaded and extracted the uh, Kafka source and sync uh, connector, uh, we need to configure uh, both of them in terms of how you can use it. And there's only really not too much uh, configuration that you have to do. The first thing really is to follow in terms of the instruction that is talking about, uh, you have to make sure that you set up the plugin.path, uh, which is really is the fundamental uh, way of how the two are connecting to each other. So let me show you. So this is in the source uh, connector guy and then in the sync, they have the same step, but you only have to do it once uh, since I'm putting both of them into uh, my same location. So let's go back here. I can actually minimize this one for now because this is the one that I'm working with. So let's look at uh, the path where you have uh, the, the Kafka settings. So I have to go back to the location where I have the Kafka, uh, which is at this folder. So the version I have is 2.12 uh, to 2.5. Within there, there's a uh, config uh, path, which is following the uh, in instruction here. It's sitting under config, 
connect.standalone.properties. The only reason I'm using this file for the properties is because I am using a standalone Kafka uh, instance here. So let's go into my config folder and then I can use a text editor uh, and then I can edit the, the path. So as you can see uh, over here, that's really the location of the plugin path that I have to specify. As I said, you can put it anywhere, but I have chosen to put it under my uh, D Wong folder under connectors. And that's all you need really uh, is this path that you can tell if you have a different location for your source versus sync, you can put it elsewhere, but all, by all means that this is the location that you need to pay attention to. So uh, because I've set those up, uh, now really the next step is to now set up your uh, plus a plus event broker. And, and for demo purposes, uh, I would encourage everybody to set up a free account on our Solace uh, website. So very conveniently, you can just set up a free Solace uh, plus a plus event broker cloud, and then you can get an instance set, set up for you on uh, the free of the major cloud vendor. So this is my basically my uh, main dashboard and I can look at how many messaging services that I've set up. So for convenience, I've already set up one called Wong running. And for the purpose of this, all we need really is just the connectivity between this broker, which is the Plus Plus, with the two Kafka uh, connector being the sync and the source. And I can use the Try Me tab just to show you how easy it is to trying to really just show you how the messages are coming through from the two people uh, from the two places. So uh, let's look at what are, what do I need to set up the connectivity. So basically you need to know what is your connection settings uh, being username, password, the message VPN name and also the URL that you can connect to this uh, instance of uh, plus a plus event broker. So let's just uh, put it on to the side and go back here. So the next step that we're going to do is to set up all the uh, connectivity between the Kafka and the, the two connectors. So I have to go back into each of the source and the sync to do that. So let me go back to my connector folder. And I can do each of them at a time. So this time I would do the, the plus a plus uh, source first. And then underneath here, there's an ETC folder and there's a config file called solace source underscore source, uh, source dot properties. So again, I'm using VI. So in here, as you can see, I have the setting that, that was equivalent to what I've just shown you on my website, basically here. These are the three settings that I'm setting up. Again, it's the username, which is the, uh, the Solid Cloud client, which is here. Password, right? This is the, the string of the password, the VPN name, D Wong. And at last is the, mess, it's the URL. So I basically just pick one without the SSL. You can feel free to use whatever the one that you feel comfortable with. But basically that's all you need from the Puzzle Plus side in, uh, in terms of setting this up. And I would do the same uh, within the sync connectors. So so this time is a sync and then go back to ETC folder and I look at the Solace sync properties file. So same thing here, I'm using the same instant, I'm not changing anything uh, as you will see fit, but because of the purpose of this video, we're just making it very simple to show you how you can connect to a Solace broker just like that. So the next step really is the is the, uh, the 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 most exciting part where you get starting uh, your two connectors. 
uh, as I've as I've shown you, there are really two steps that you have to do before. One is to set up the plugin.path within the Kafka. And then the second is just set up within each connector, the Solace Broker connection, which we have just done. So let's start by going back into the Kafka folder. So right now I'm in the sync folder, so I probably have to go all the way out. Back into the Kafka. And in here, we just have to execute in terms of uh, the bin directory, there's a path. And these are information that is already uh, out there. So within the documentation, it, it goes to uh, talk, walk you through that step by step. Really is now we have set up the two connection and then you can execute this task. So let me show you and I can do it for the source and then we can demonstrate it directly what it looks like. So the command really has been using the connect send along sh because that was the one that I've set up and these are the that's the file connect send along dot properties that I've set up the plugin dot path to be under my uh, root folder D Wong connectors and then I look at uh, the rest of the connector in terms of this is a source connector that I want to spin up so everything looks good because I've already put in the information so it's going to take a while basically it's just start the instance of um, the uh, connector where you can actually now receive and send information and it will demonstrate it here because now we have seen uh, the the consumer where in this case Solace as a source so the plus a plus event broker will be the source of the Kafka so when we send the messages over in the in the website we should expect to see it over here so let's go back to our plus a plus event broker and this is one of the cool uh, very cool tools too as well because you can actually just simply uh, test your connection by doing this try me tab obviously we have to know uh, what kind of a uh, topic that you're using so as I said we are the publisher in this case and we will be cons receiving the messages in Kafka because we're using the source so then let's make the connection so now we're good and we have to subscribe to this topic, which I have already set up called source uh, test. And again, these are all the steps that you can name your topic, anything, but just have to align between the two. So, so let's say, uh, hello world from plus a plus to Kafka. And we can do it in text. You see right here, I just received that message from my Solace broker on the cloud directly into my Kafka instance. And that's really a demonstration of the source connector, how easy it is to set up between the connection. Now we will do something more onto the sync connector, which in the, in the different hand, we will use a publisher from Kafka to publish a message to my subscriber in Solace. So let's bring out another uh, terminal. And this time I will set up my sync connector. So let's look at where am I? So have to go back one level. Sorry, I went back too many. Okay, so uh, I'm in the Kafka folder, which is the way, the exact location that I wanted. Uh, again, to, to start this connector, I just have to do uh, the bin where I have the execution of the command. So to show you that is the bin connect send along sh, the same one that we have done because we are already do the plugin. Uh, but this time we use a sync um, connector that we look at the properties file that way. Okay, looks like this is working. And this time we will not use the consumer side on the Kafka, but we only use the 
the publisher because we want to publish from Kafka into my Solus broker. So this is my publisher uh, from the producer into uh, from Kafka and I'll show you my website. So this how again we have to set it up uh, onto here, which uh, in this time the topic is called sync test. So listening to this, so when I'm typing a message here, it should appear over there. Tada, you see that it just happened. So hello again, I'm sending a message from Kafka to Puzzle Plus. So as you can see, this is actually a very simple way of how do you connect the two connector uh, being the source, which when you take the information from Solus into Kafka or the other way around where you want to take information from Kafka into a Solus broker, which is a sync connector, and then you can fan it out. Uh, one more thing I want to mention here is that the sync connector has a lot more uh, uh, functionality because of the fact that once you get the information into Solus, you can have a lot of different advanced features. And most important, I want to point out is that for the record processor, we have a very powerful dynamic destination record processor. So feel free to check these all out. Uh, these are now all published onto the Solus product uh, GitHub repo. And these are officially being supported by Solus, so customer can purchase uh, the support plan for them. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.